All right. Uh, reports and action items from executive session. Do I hear a motion to approve 30 certified recommendations for the 2021-2022 school year? Madam Chair, I move that the board approve 30 certified recommendations for the 2021-2022 school year. Mr. Oswald, let me pause for a minute. Is it 30? It, okay. Yes, continue. 30. I'm sorry. That you're it's right. 30. You're right. I apologize. Okay. I apologize. Is there a second? Second. It's 30. Thank you, Dr. Powers. Is there any discussion? All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Do I hear a motion to approve nine administrative recommendations for the 2021-2022 school year? Madam Chair, I move that the board approve nine administrative recommendations for the 2021-2022 school year. Thank you, Mr. Oswald. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dr. Powers. Is there any discussion? So, uh, Mr. Stacy, remind us how many open positions we have going into the fall now? Uh, Thank you all for your work. Is there an area of critical need that you're concerned about at this point? You know, I've never had anybody tell me that I talk too quietly, <laughs> ever <laughs> in my life. So well, I appreciate that, Mary Beth. Thank you. It's for the live stream. Mm -hmm. So again, special ed is always a concern. Um, math in the in the high school secondary level, um, but um, and then world language because it's so difficult to get international teachers into the country. So where are those positions all posted? Um, just because there aren't 55 posted on our website. You are correct. Um, some of the principals already have, like I've talked to a principal today when I looked at the vacancy report and she had nine vacancies and I'm like almost in a panic, a full right. on panic attack. Um, and as I talked to her, she's in the process for at least six of those positions. She's already got the person identified. She's contacting references. In the summertime, sometimes it takes a little time to get in touch with principals because they don't all sit in their buildings every day waiting on us to call them. And we won't let them hire somebody if they don't talk to the current supervisor because we want to make sure there's not a reason why they're leaving that we need to know about. And so we make sure that we got our references, we do the background checks. So it takes a little bit of a time from the time you identify who you want to hire to get them through the process. So. And then, you know, like I say, we get resignations, not date, well, I guess we do get them daily. And then we post them as soon as they come in. So this is a, a floating number. But yeah, you're right, there's not 55 posted. Yeah. I've had that conversation with them too. Okay. So you're saying that the ones that are posted, there aren't any like leads on those positions yet? Oh, I like, I, unless I knew exactly already? which, if, unless I knew exactly which position you were talking about and could tell you how long it had been posted. No, I'm would just be, curious because yeah. 55 certified, and there's only like five on the website and for high school and seven for middle school and four for elementary. And those elementary principals are really good about keeping their candidates in <laughs> their back pocket. <laughs> so they've got a plan. Devana has actually gone out, Devana Price, has actually gone out and met with each school over the last, what, two weeks? Mm -hmm and talk with the principals and, and that's one of the questions she's asking them is like where are we with your vacancies and um, even though the report says 55 it feels like we're in a much better place there and some of those there's two of those are psychologist positions there's a few speech positions that are open and so they go in a different route special ed trying to fill those but they're not by school like psychologists are central service positions and speech, typically Rebecca McKinsley Appling, she's the lead speech teacher. She handles trying to secure those people and then places them in the schools. Special ed works a little bit different. But they're on it, I promise you, they're on it. Good. 
We have a motion on the table um, to approve nine administrative recommendations for the 2021-2022 school year. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And the motion carries. During executive session, we received advice on a pending legal matter in the case of Alvin Berry versus Lexington County School District 1. Do I have a motion to take action in this case? Madam Chair, I move that the board authorize Randy Davis in the case of Alvin Berry versus Lexington County School District 1 to proceed with option C as discussed in executive session. Thank you, Dr. Guyton. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you, Dr. Powers. Is there any discussion? All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And the motion carries. During executive session, we received information on the construction management at risk contractual matter related to the new transportation replacement facility. We will take action during um, agenda item 11.0.